Hello! So the next thing to do is uh, create some custom controls. We do have to bind the mesh as well. Um, I don't know how in depth I'm going to go with uh, skin weights with this character. It's fairly simple and um, even though it may not be the most exciting um, aspect of rigging, it certainly deserves a lot of um, attention uh, because it is an art form in itself and um, there is a world of difference between good skin weights and bad skin weights so um, uh, without any further ado I'm going to go on to um, um, creating some controls but uh, there will be a sort of a fairly um, uh, a brief bit about skin weights as well um, so well done Rufus, you've made a precedent for yourself there. <laughs> um, so um, I could, you could spend all day creating um, uh, custom controls, um, but I don't want to uh, spend forever doing this. Um, and also at the same time, I don't want to just use a load of um, uh, vanilla curve shapes in Maya itself. So I'm going to make one or two custom controls uh, just to show you uh, how it's done and why I'm doing it. Um, so I've just created a cylinder and I've squashed it down using scale um, and just to give it um, a bit of um, uh, individuality um, I'm going to extrude these faces like this um, and there is a reason um, which is more than just aesthetic which is if you uh, the, 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 the more um, dimension you give a controller um, the more identifiable it is um, and that in turn should mean uh, the more user-friendly it is. Uh, that's not always the case, but uh, it's better than, for example, it's better than having some curve shape that's just sort of, you know, touching the surface of the mesh like that, which can be surprisingly common depending on who's building the rigs. Um, so let's delete that and uh, let's select the CV curve tool and up here select linear curves and to make this easier I'm going to go to shading and down to wireframe unshaded. And next up, I'm going to hold down V, which should be snap to vertices, and I'm going to start drawing round the uh, vertices of this rather cog-like shape. Now I can't get round here, so I'm just going to take my finger off V, hold down Alt, spin the camera around, and then carry on. Sorry, I need to keep talking over this, otherwise the world will end. Um, but unfortunately there's no getting away from the fact that this is a pretty mundane part of the video. But you can see that um, I've clicked on the wrong vertices here, so I'm just going to press Ctrl Z and focus in on this vertices a bit more. And hold down V again, and then back to there and all the way back we made it to our first uh, to our first C uh, CV so press enter to complete that and that's our custom control shape for the body um, I'm gonna delete the uh, poly the cylinder that I used to make it and 
Um, we made this <laughs> on uh, zero um, on zero y translate y. So uh, I know that the um, center of the pivot, the center of the shape is in the middle. Um, if we made it off to one side, there'd be uh, some more clean up. I'll um, do that bit in a moment. But anyway, um, so turn off the geometry and then I'm snapping the control to the um, body bind joint here uh, by holding down V again. Um, and I'm going to call this uh, curve shape something useful like uh, body CTRL for control. Okay, and we've got some uh, transforms. Uh, do I need to? Yeah, let's keep the transforms there for the time being. Now I'm going to duplicate uh, body control and in the outliner, make sure shapes are turned on. I'm going to go down to the duplicate uh, shape delete the actual shape node itself keeping the transform node above with the uh, transform channels there I'm going to rename this control and I'm going to suffix it with group like that um, because it's the oh no we're using buffer aren't we so yeah, this is the buffer node. Like I said, consistency is the key and um, it's uh, never a good idea to change, um, change your own rules halfway through a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Okay, uh, select the control and select the control buffer and then parent that and as with the geometry um, you can see that the transforms have zeroed themselves out despite being uh, plus 10 in positive y. Um, okay, so next up going to make another shape uh, just to hammer the point home. Um, uh, just off the top of my head, going to make this off center. Uh, discrete rotate this to its way off, make it a little bigger, and let's uh, make it more geometric. So we'll go to uh, make it six sided, and then let's give that scale value of zero in the Y. Um, yeah, just I'm gonna make life a little more difficult for myself by making this off the center. So select the curve tool again, make sure it's on linear, hold down V and select round the geometry like this. Okay, and you'll see that the, I'll just delete the poly shape leaving us the um, curve shape and the pivot is in is not in the middle of the shape it's at the origin so I'm going to go up to um, uh, center pivot here um, if I'm using uh, a version of Maya that doesn't have center pivot I can't think what that would be now, Maya 2014. Uh, you could select the uh, curve shapes and go up to this control, um, these these um, uh, or in, uh, transform boxes here and press zero and they'll snap to um, the center around the world origin. Okay, that's enough rambling. Um, so I'm going to call this tail control 01 and then I'm going to duplicate it um, and delete the shape and quickly rename it tail uh, group 
O1, like that. And then parent that. Um, and then this time I'm gonna select the group. The, I've done it again, haven't I? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, buffer I want and tail control there we go my god you're your own worst enemy sometimes right um so yeah and with the buffer selected we can give this uh, all the transform values we like I'm gonna look, go along and select the first tail joint and then uh, going to press Control D to duplicate it, and then hold down V and snap it to the next joint. Uh, rename this. Oh yeah, that's okay. Rename the shape node O2, uh, and then up to the buffer, duplicate it, snap it to the next joint. Uh, rename the shape node, and then once again. Duplicate it, snap it to the next joint, and rename it O4, and then duplicate it, and snap that to the last joint, and rename it, name the shape. And now, next up, to put them in a hierarchy, I'm going to select the buffer here, and then the uh, shape, not the buffer, the shape of the uh, control above and press P and the same again. Select the buffer and then the shape, press P, the buffer and then the shape, the buffer and then the shape and there we go. Now that's all of our um, uh, tail controls in one hierarchy like that. So select the top node and they all move around the same way. Okay, cool.